Hey, this is Jabril, a.k.a. Mr. Think Outside the Box, and uh, today I want to talk to you about tough times don't last, tough people do. And the reason I started doing these videos about three, four weeks ago is because I would see comments on my videos saying, what are you, like a trust fund baby? Um, did you win the lottery? And so many different comments, and it was so far from the truth. Some of you, you know, know me personally and know my story, and that's far from the case. And there were so many people out there that didn't know, and I think some of you that even know me don't know all of my stories. So I was like, let me give them, you know, tidbits, you know, every Monday, you know, into my story. And today is Monday, November 12th. Uh, oh, yeah, shout out to all the veterans out there and current people in the military. Um, respect you greatly. Um, have the kind of heart that I don't even have because I know I don't even have the heart to do that. So um, much, much respect to um, everyone out there serving um, around the world, no matter what your country is. And so I want to talk about... It before, and I couldn't even share these stories before because of my ego, my pride, because flat up these stories are basically embarrassing as shit. Or at least, you know, now I can, you know, talk about them freely because, you know, I've overcome them, overgrown them. But at the time, it was just like ego hitting, like, this is, this is what it came to. <laughs> this is, and so, for most of you guys that don't know, um, I've actually been through some rough stuff in my, I, I had success pretty much out of the gate when I started online, but I hit a patch for about a year that was just absolutely horrible. I'm talking no T-Mobile no more, I've got Boost Mobile, and you know, I'm putting credit on my phone, and I'm like, why did this person just text me, it just cost me 20 cents, what the, that kind of bad, and if it was that bad, um, you can imagine, as a, <laughs> I was even an internet marketer, but I stopped marketing. I wasn't actually doing anything. I was just living on savings, and it just went to crap because uh, I didn't believe in the company that, and all the stuff that was going on. I was just in a weird kind of space. I was like, I'm not going to go back to college. Like All different types of things were going through my mind, but it got so bad. So not only am I using Boost Mobile, I have no internet left in my house because the bill went up to like four or $500, and I was like, I can't pay that. I want to eat. I want to. <laughs> so I started listening to audios again. I started getting my mind right because, and I started listening to people. And you know, the stories just start, they're like telling me how they struggled too. And they had things that happened to them. And you know, how they fought back and you know, really came back even higher than they were before. And I was like, but you just don't understand my situation <laughs> at the time. And I was just like, they must have just something magical about them. And uh, as time went on, I started listening to the audios because I was almost done with the internet thing. I was done with it all. And I was like, basically, I was like, fuck, I can't deal with this no more. My head is like, I didn't even want to get out of bed in the morning. That's how bad, um, you know, my energy was. And so as these audios, I kept listening to stuff, bettering my head. And I was like, man, fuck this. I'm going to get back in the game. And that's exactly what I did. But I didn't even have internet in my house. So... What I did, I went to the local library, and it was about four miles, yeah, it was about, about three, three miles, almost four miles away, um, if you go in the road route. And I didn't have a car to drive through at the time either, so, <laughs> in Chicago, and the snow, and this is at the winter time, the snow was like three, four feet high when you're going through the grass, not four feet, what am I talking about, like two, like two feet, um, I don't like to exaggerate, about two feet, I'm looking, yeah, about two, two and a half feet in the grass, and so... What I'd have to do, because I wanted to go through the grassway, which saved me about a mile and a half, I'm running through the grass, I got my backpack on, my feet are all frozen, and I'm running <laughs> through the grass to go to the library to use the public Wi-Fi. And I was doing this every single day that the library was open. It was closed on Sunday because I was getting back into the group and finding out, you know, ways to basically, you know, get my business kickstarted again. And I mean, like every single, I'd wake up so I could get there when it opened and I would stay there until they were closed. And they'd be like, don't you eat like the people in the library? I'd have like a little, like, you're here like every day, man. Like, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm just, you know, it's just like, I'm just doing some things, uh, you know, basically taking my life to like, oh, okay, okay. And like, I mean, I knew everyone by name. And so 
then starts um, things started kicking off again for me. You know, after it wasn't even that long, but let me tell you, when you're running through two feet of snow in the winter, and you used to be rolling around in leather seats and <laughs> all, it's a humbling experience. Okay, and that's why I couldn't even share these type of stories before because it was just too humbling. But then um, I got started in uh, another opportunity, and I started, I was like, man, I don't even have enough cash to really start this up. So then there was the next humbling thing that happened for me. I had to go get a job. Yes, my first job, as humbling as it is. And if anyone knows how big my ego can get it sometimes, I might seem humble. And I actually am humble, but for me to go get a job was just like, oh, my heart. <laughs> And, um, you know, I'm happy to say it's the only job I ever had to get, but um, I did that, got some funds moving, and it was just, you know, a few short months later, you know, I'm back in the game, uh, you know, making, you know, some thousands of dollars, and um, pretty much, you know, weekly, and, it, you know, my life has never been the same ever again, but, you know, those are the type of things um, that you have to go through. Most people have been like... I'm not going through the snow. Like, I'll wait till someone gives me a ride. Like, I'm not going two miles through snow. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to get back in. I'll just go get a job and keep that for the rest of my life, you know. It's a secure paycheck. And um, it's not even the case these days. But um, that's, uh, you know, that's my story today. I really don't have much more. But I'm going to tell you, no matter what you're going through right now, you can go through it. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. And... I've been I've been through it all. Foster care, single mother, food stamps. <sighs> Shit in my adult life. I mean, that's all I can say. Tough people don't lie. I mean, tough people do last. Tough times don't. This is Jabril. Take care, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you want to come hit me up on Facebook, you'll see a link below. And when you send a friend request, let me know though. Like this is you know I saw you on YouTube, I saw you wherever, and if you want to come. Hit me up on my website, jabril.com. It's got all my social media, Twitter, and all my other YouTube channels and all the business stuff. That's it. Take care and uh, make it a great day.